Hello, this is Steve again at HVACPartsShop.com. Today we're going to talk about installing a 30W33 ignition control kit. Um, let's talk a little bit about what's in the control, uh, what comes in the kit. Um, basically we're going to get the ignition control box. This is a Honeywell S8670K. Um, we're going to come with a back plate to mount the control to. Um, it is going to come with some extra wires here. Um, for this installation that we're going to be doing today, we probably won't need these wires. These are extra leads. Um, um, so we won't be using those today. It does come with some wire nuts that we probably won't be using as well. Uh, a spade connector uh, for the ignition lead. We probably won't use that as well. It does come with some, um, some mounting screws as well uh, right here. Um, and then this is going to be our flame sensor lead, a brand new flame sensor lead. It's going to come with that. Uh, it's also going to come with a new flame sensor. Now when we're messing with the flame sensor, or when we're installing the flame sensor, I should say, we want to concentrate on just touching the porcelain only. We don't want to hit a lot of the, the probe itself because our oils from our fingers can um, affect the way it senses. Um, also, we're going to be using this today. This is our grounding, grounding lead. As you can see, on one side, it's got a female spade connector. The other side, it's got a little donut end. At least that's what I call it. Um, but I'll get into this a little bit later um, and show you where that's going to go. Um, it does come in the kit. It does come with a schematic. It does have a sticky back, so you just peel it off, stick it on the blower door, um, and then you'll have that for reference later on. Uh, also comes with a uh, code sheet, a diagnostic code sheet. Uh, this control will have diagnostic lights on it. Um, they're hard to see, but once you get it installed and hooked up, you'll see a, right in this area here, you get a little flashing light. Um, depending on how many beeps or how many flashes it gives you, uh, you just go down your sheet and it'll let you know what's, what's happening with the furnace and what, what you need to look at to get it repaired. Uh, something else that comes with the kit is an instruction manual, a very good instruction manual, uh, very detailed, uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to use. Um, but if you go to page two on this manual, um, it gives you a wiring breakdown. Um, if you go to figure one on, the, on this manual, this is the control we're going to be doing replacing today. This, this one right here is the Robert Shaw SP745. And we're going to replace it with this Honeywell uh, control, um, the S8670K. So anyway, um, you want to keep these handy as well for future reference. But that's what's included in the kit. I think uh, one thing I do want to mention is on this, um, on this control here, you'll see on the back, on the back side of it, uh, right over here, um, it's saying not to mount this side down. So when you mount it in your furnace, you don't want to mount it down like this. You can mount it this way, you can mount it this way, uh, or you can mount it this way. But you just can't mount this side here in the down position. Okay, so I think we're ready to get started. Uh, let me get, introduce you here to this other this is the control that you are going to be replacing today. This is the Robert Shaw SP745. Um, and we're going to put the wires from this control over to this control. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and prop these up to where we can kind of see it um, the best we can here. I think it'll hold there. And then let me come over here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And then I'll swing around to the back side and we'll kind of go over what wires are going to go where. Alrighty, so... Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and just pick... Uh, let's just go over from the, the side over here. Right here we have MV. That's going to be our main valve. Okay, that's going to be a red wire. So we'll take the red wire out of there. Um, this wire is going to be connected to the gas valve, by the way. So it's the red wire coming from the gas valve. We're going to remove it from this control. We're going to take it over to the Honeywell control. 
and we're going to put it in position number one uh, right here where it says MB. Now if you'll notice right here on this ledge right here um, you got numbers of each one of these spade connectors. So um, that's where they're numbered at. And right now MB is in a number one position. So again, just to recap, we're going to go from MB on the old control to MB on the new control, which is in position one. Okay, uh, let's just move over. We got TH. TH is for transformer hot. So this is going to be a brown wire coming from our trans uh, coming from our transformer. Uh, this is what actually it's not it's actually coming from the limit, but this is going to be our 24 volt um, right here. This is where we're getting our 24 volts from. Now from TH we're going to move it over to this new control uh, on 24 volt 24B, and that's going to be in position number six. Uh, right here, it says six. So it's this this spade connector right here. So that'll move over there nicely for you. Um, let's go ahead and go to the next one. This one is going to be a PV slash MV. Uh, this one is going to be a blue wire. Um, so we'll move that blue wire from this position here over to the new control and position number two, which is MV. And we'll go into this spade connector here. Okay, I uh, got that one covered. Let's go ahead and move over to TR. That's uh, transformer return. So this is our return voltage. Okay, so on this one, this is going to be a yellow wire coming to this area right here. Um, we're going to take this um, to 24 volt GND. That's going to be position number five on the new control, which is right here. Um, this Take it from here, from TR, to 24 volt GND, and you'll be good to go. Okay, now this is our ground. Uh, you probably got a green ground in there now, probably something similar to this. Um, uh, we just definitely want to make sure it's grounded to the casing of the furnace, so we'll have some type of ground. Uh, without a ground, it won't spark, so we need to have a good ground. So we're going to move the GND over to the new control position number four where it says GND here um, and GND is this abbreviation for ground um, you probably already figured that out but um, again that's position number four uh, GND uh, pilot valve uh, let's go over that pilot valve is going to be um, uh, coming from our gas valve as well um, which is going to go to PV on the new control now this is going to be an orange wire coming from here, and more than likely you're going to have more than one wire in this control, in this, in this bay connector area here. So that's fine, just move both of those over, it's just kind of piggybacked, a spade connector that's piggybacked. We'll just move both of those orange wires that's in this position here over to number three position here on PV, and it'll just plug in right here. Okay? Uh, now keep in mind, all your, your MV, your uh, PV, MV, and then your PV, all those, those three wires there are coming from the gas valve. And they're connected to this control. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next control, uh, the next wire, which is gonna be our sense wire. That's gonna be our, for our flame sensor. So it's gonna be this wire right here. Um, it will have a cloth coating on the outside of it. Um, so you, you can't mistake it. Um, so this is going to be our flame sensor lead um, and uh, so we're going to move from sense here if you look at the new control right down here it says sense so we'll just follow that up around and then pin number eight right here um, it says that's where we're, that's pin number eight that's where our flame sensor is going to be so again just follow that that up around and then down right here is where our flame sensor is going to hook up Okay, the last wire that we have is for our ignition. Um, that's here, that's where we get our spark from. So we're going to go from ignition or ING. Uh, we're going to move this wire over to here where it says spark. Uh, that'll plug in there. Um, once we get that plugged in, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and um, go ahead and 
fire up the unit. Now let me swing back around here. We'll uh, kind of zoom back out a little bit, and then I'll finish up here with you guys. Now, when you're firing up your furnace for the first time using this new control, and you make a demand for heat, um, usually it's going to take anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. Could even take up to 45 seconds before you start hearing this click and starting to spark, um, um, and then uh, and then from there it'll just go on until you uh, reach demand on the thermostat, and we should be good. I just didn't want you to get worried if it doesn't spark uh, within the first five or six seconds. So, uh, other than that, I do have more videos to come. Uh, until then, I'll see you the next time.